I arrived in Doha this morning at about three o'clock and if you're a regular viewer of my channel you'll know why that is. It's because I have a really fantastic 165 foot Mangusta super yacht that I represent for sale and the time has come to film the promotional video. Of course I have a professional uh, camera crew with me when I do these videos but a couple of months ago I filmed an impromptu video with my GoPro, just a very amateurish video of a similar sized yacht called the Wider 165. I walked from one end of the boat to the other, I showed the engine room, the crew quarters, things that I don't sometimes show in the official promotional video. I have an hour to spare now so I thought it would be a, a good idea to do the same thing again. If nothing else this will show you why it is that I use professionals to do my promotional videos. This is not the official promotional video, it's just an opportunity to take a look at what goes on behind the scenes when we film, to look at the engine room, the cruise quarters, things that I don't feature a lot in the promotional videos that I do. So we'll be walking from one end of the boat to the other. Um, but before we do that, I just want to show you some footage I took earlier today when we took the yacht out to sea to take some waterline footage. A little bit, only a little bit.
So when we finished doing the waterline footage, we actually tied this support boat to the back of Serenity, the Mangusta. They're just leaving now. And actually, if you were the owner of the yacht and uh, you arrived by that boat, this is pretty much the first thing that you'd see. You'd, you'd probably step onto the aft deck, uh, the swim platform here. There's stairs either side of the yacht. And you get onto this amazing after deck as you can see there's a lot of activity going on on here because we'll be uh filming the sequence where we show the table all laid and ready for dinner i'll make some reference to fine dining on the yacht so we want that to look really nice actually any mangusta owner will tell you the reason they buy this model is because of the after deck they are absolutely huge What I'll do is I'll walk you all the way around the outside of the yacht. Side decks obviously on both sides. And this will give you a real idea just how long this yacht is. 50 meters long, 165 feet, 13,000 horsepower. And I've got to tell you that Doha is the most spectacular setting to be able to film this in. It's what the, uh, the camera crew called, uh, I think they called it feature rich so much wherever you point the camera it just looks great so we're at the bow area lovely seating area you can get about at least 12 people around that uh, that table quite comfortably these are storage units absolutely massive sun pad huge sun pad you could get a family of 12 on that sun pad down the other side deck and I'm really hoping you can see this but the uh, the Doha skyline is just behind us and it does look really sensational okay back to the aft deck again where we're setting up for filming and I'm just going to take you up to the flybridge. Move, Dan. Dan's moving. <laughs> okay, and here's the sun deck. Actually, in reality, this is usually where the, the boat will be driven from because it's such a good vantage point. Let me just show you what the captain sees. The captain here has got a good view of the extremity of the yacht, so you can see the bow. And usually what will happen is if he's backing into a berth, he'll ask the crew over the VHF just to tell him how close they are to the, to the dock. So they'll be counting him in 10 metres, 5 metres. <laughs> if he gets to 1 metre, he's probably a little bit too close. Meanwhile, the rest of the crew will be putting fenders out if they yachts either side so that nothing gets damaged. And as you can see, the owner of this yacht has had a great idea. Can you imagine? A better place to work out in the morning than here and I'm standing like a salesman which is not what I wanted to do I just wanted to show you the yacht back down and we go into the main lounge area where there's a lovely bar and as should be the case it's right opposite the dining table I think it goes without saying that some of the furniture here is just here because it's been moved to make space for other things lovely seating area and opposite the seating area that unit there is a pop-up television. I mean, it doesn't really pop up. It sort of slides up slowly and gracefully. Let me just see what Greg's doing here. Just getting some details at the moment, David. This lovely open plan. Put it in the area. This is called a slider, and we use this a lot. It's how we get a lot of those really fantastic images of the interiors of the yacht, usually. There's another 
snug just here. I guess you'd sit around playing cards. And then forward of this is the Helm Station, which I get a lot of comments from people asking to look at the Helm Station. Mike is the captain. Hello, hello. Please don't play my boat. I love it. So <laughs> and you're, you're chief Nicholas. engineer? Chief officer. Chief officer. Nick is the chief officer of the yacht. Just tell us, we're somebody, all, somebody, somebody tell us what we're looking at. I can see the radar and the radar. closed circuit television, Nicholas. which is here. We've got Varun on that net. Uh, so it's jet driven. So these are the jet controls, and this is the center thrust engine, so three engines, to take it up to a maximum speed of 43 knots, light load, extremely fast, like a Ferrari, a Ferrari of the seas. Ferrari of like the oceans. Yeah. You're going to put me out of a job here, exactly, Mike. Exactly. Down below. is where all of the accommodation is for the owner and his guests and i do get people criticizing me in the comments saying why do you say his guests it might be a female owner you're absolutely right but it's just a figure of speech his guests is just it's like people refer to a, a yacht as a she i don't think many guys get offended by that so if you're female and you hear me say his guests please don't get offended anyway taking away from the fact that the master stateroom on this yacht is pretty incredible. Uh, if it looks good with my lousy camera abilities, just imagine when Greg's worked his magic what it's going to look like. The unit at the end of the bed, again, is a pop-up television. You can just about make out the panel there that it pops up from. And then into the bathroom. We'll have much nicer coverage of this in the official video. So it's a his and hers. One with a shower and one with a tub. So the guest accommodation is off to the port and starboard side of a central corridor on this yacht. Um, there's a little bit of clutter here because we've put our camera equipment in this cabin. But you can see it's a double double bunk and they have their own ensuite. And this is where I've been positioning myself, getting a few emails done with my GoPro stuff here. Just quickly show you what the ensuites look like. So pretty good, pretty good size. very decent shower that's actually bigger than the shower in my house but then the yacht is rather bigger than my house proceed down the corridor we have another cabin off here let's see if I can find the light switch Classic yacht broker, can't find where the light switch is. Ha. There you go. Totally different layout in this uh, with bunk beds. And actually, that unit there is what's called a Pullman bunk. So that actually folds down. So you can get four people in this cabin, which I suppose is great if you've got kids who all want to sleep together in the same room, little kids. And now we're in the forward area of the yacht, and this is what they call the VIP stateroom. I mean, this is absolutely lovely. And something that I want to make a feature of in the video, because I was particularly impressed when I saw it, was the ensuite bathroom, because it really is pretty impressive. Got a lovely tub there. And this absolutely cavernous shower room 
I don't think I'll use the word cavernous in the official video though. It just doesn't sound quite attractive enough. Now I'm going to go back up to the main deck because I get so many people asking me to see the cruise quarters. Let me show you where the crew live. Back through the lounge. And behind the bar here, there's a little, almost a hidden door. And some steps down. So the crew basically share their space with the main galley. And I've got to tell you, we had lunch on board today and the chef did us absolutely brilliant lunch. It was so tasty. This is the crew mess. This is where we had lunch earlier. And then there's basically there's the cabins off of here. As you can see, there's a washer and dryer. I would like to show you the engine room though. Because that's another thing a lot of people ask me to see. We will actually probably show it in the promotional video actually because the engines are such a big part of the sale of this yacht. I mean, look at the size of this. The Mangosta 165 has three large MTU engines and they're connected to water jets built by a company called K Miwa, who I believe are owned by Rolls Royce. You know, the key for yacht builders when they do an engine room is to make it relatively easy to work around and and you know here you can you can walk through the engines I mean I don't want to get too close to them because they're still hot but you've got access to filters you can do all the service on them that you need got a nice workbench here there's really everything that you need to be able to work in the engine room and keep it well maintained I hope that you enjoyed that once again that is not the official promotional video the official video will be out probably in about 10 days time certainly mid uh, December I apologize for my total lack of editing skills but I hope that you enjoyed the opportunity of seeing a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes and do look out for that promotional video as soon as it's published thanks